Greetings dear students. This video is an introduction to Python. After going through this video lesson, you would be able to learn history of Python, features and uses of Python and how to install Python on your computer. So let's first talk about the history of Python. Python was developed by Guido Van Rossum in 1989 at the National Research Institute for Mathematics and Computer Science in Netherlands. It got its name from a BBC comedy series from 70s that is Monty Python's Flying Circus. Now some important features of Python. Python is easy to read and write. It is developer friendly. Reading a good program Python program feels almost like reading English. This pseudocode nature of Python makes it easy to learn and use. Supports different programming paradigms. Python supports both procedure oriented programming as well as object oriented programming. Easily extensible. It implies that other languages such as C, C++ can be used to compile the code and it can be further used in our Python code. High level language. When we write programs in Python, we never need to bother about low level details such as managing the memory used by our program. Free software. It is free in two senses. It doesn't cost anything to download or use Python or to include it in our application. Python can also be freely modified and redistributed because while the language is copyrighted, it is available under an open source license. Vast library of add-on modules. Python has a large and broad library and provides rich set of module and functions for rapid application development. Contains advanced programming features. Python contains advanced programming features such as generators and list comprehensions. Its automatic memory management frees us from having to manually allocate and free memory in our code. Platform independent. It runs anywhere including Mac OS X, Windows, Linux and Unix with unofficial builds also available for Android and iOS. It is also called cross-platform language. Now let's see how some reputed organizations are using Python. Google is using Python in its web research, web search systems. YouTube's video sharing service largely uses Python. BitTorrent peer-to-peer -peer file sharing is written using Python. Spotify applies it in its backend services and for data analysis purposes. Instagram uses Python language in combination with Django. NASA uses Python for scientific programming task. Amazon uses it to analyze customers buying habits and search patterns. Facebook uses Python largely to process images. These are only few and the list is long. Hearing all this, I know you definitely want to learn this wonderful language. So let's see how to install Python and run programs in Python. Now to install Python, go to python www.python.org. Then go to downloads. Now we are uh, using Windows version of Python. So go to Python 3.6. Uh, choose the version Python 3.6.5 and click here. Now, different versions are available for Windows, Linux, Unix, Mac OS X and other operating system. Once you download this software, you have to install it on your computer and the installation itself is very simple. Just click on Python 3.6.5 here in this case .exe and then installation will start. And please follow all the instructions that appear on the screen. Now after installing, you need to add Python to system environment variables. To run Python on your system, you need to add it to path in 
the system environment variables. If you tick the checkbox for add Python to path in previous step, you don't need to do it explicitly. However, if you choose to add it manually later, open system environment variables. For this, go to control panel, to system properties, then to advanced, then environment variables, and then system variables, path, and then edit. Locate the Python directory on your computer and append the location to the end of the path variable like this. An environment variable holds value about the current environment and you need it so that you can access Python through the command line. Now let's start with Python. Go to programs then you will find Python there and actually when we install Python on our computer we actually install Python ideally. So you click here to open Python. Now let us understand what is ideally. Ideally is an acronym of Integrated Development Environment and it is the standard most popular Python development environment. To run a program, we basically need an editor to write it, an interpreter or compiler to execute it and a debugger to catch and remove the errors. Python ideally provides all these tools as a bundle. It lets edit, run, browse and debug in a Python programs from a single interface and makes it easy to write programs. So you can see here when you start ideally, computer opens the program window and this is usually called the Python shell. It shows you the welcome message. Now this is the welcome message. It starts with its version number. This is the version number of Python and a copyright notice. And after this information, you can, uh, this is the copyright and after this information, you can see the uh, primary prompt, which is, which is the combination of uh, three uh, greater than symbols followed by a blinking cursor. It indicates that ideally is now, to, now ready to take Python commands from the user. Now Python ideally can be used in two modes, Python shell and Python editor. So Python shell is an interactive mode and it is an interactive interpreter. Python editor allows us to work in script mode. That is, we can create and edit Python source file. So let's see how Python shell or interactive mode works. So again, the, you have already discussed, this is the Python prompt, a combination of three greater than symbols. That indicates that ideally is working in interactive mode and it is ready for the instruction. Now what we can do here, we can type any Python expression, statement or command and the, uh, after typing the command, when you press enter, Python immediately responds with the output of it. And after execution, it prompts for the next command with the prompt, uh, primary prompt of Python. You can use control D or quit to leave the interpreter and control F6 will restart the shell. So let us try our very first command in Python in the interactive mode. Now this is our Python shell. Now type the uh, command, uh, type to type the message hello Python on the screen, you will use the print command. Uh, let's see how to use it. Print is followed by a set of opening and closing parentheses and whatever message you want to print on the screen that will be enclosed either in single quotes or double quotes. So as I want to print hello Python on the screen, I will write the command or statement Python then within the uh, opening and closing parenthesis and within single quotes, hello Python. The moment I press enter, hello Python will be displayed on the screen. You can see here, hello Python. Now Python also works as calculator. Python interactive mode also works as calculator. If we type any arithmetic expression uh, at the primary prompt and press enter, the interpreter automatically evaluates it and shows the result. So suppose I've written here 20 plus 12, which is an, a mathematical expression. So it will add these two numbers and when I press enter, it will show me the result. So you can see the result. And after that, again, my primary prompt will appear and it shows that my uh, shell is ready to take the next command. You can press Alt P to repeat the previous commands. Now let's see uh, how it actually works. Let's open the shell and run few commands here. So this is my Python shell. 
So let me print hello or welcome here. So I'm writing a message welcome. You can see here, I have written the message welcome. Now I will press enter and you can see welcome appears on the screen. Now to work it as a calculator, let me write a mathematical expression. Suppose 22 multiply uh, 7 plus suppose 9. So you can see the result 163. So this is how it works as a calculator also. Now let us talk about the Python script mode. To go to the Python script mode, go to file and then to new file. And if your file already exists, you can use open to open it. Now a new window will appear where you can you, uh, you can write your Python script. So I have written a very small Python script. X is equal to 5, Y is equal to 3, Z equal to X plus Y and print Z. This script is to add two numbers X and Y where X is 5 and Y is 3. After writing the script, just save your program and then you can run it using a run option or control F5. So the moment you press control F5, your result is displayed in the Python shell. You can see I have added two numbers 5 and 3. So the result is 8. By default, Python program files have .py as file extension. So this is very important to remember again. So to open, you can see here, I will go to new file. The window will open and I'm writing a very small program x equal to 5, y equal to 2 suppose and z equal to x plus y and then print z. So after doing this, I will go to file and I will save this program. Suppose I am writing it by cube 1, I am giving the name and then I will go to run and I will go to run module and see. You can see that the result 7, the addition of two numbers 5 and 2 is displayed here in the Python shell. So, this is all for this video. If you like this video, kindly give thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel Learning Simplified. Thank you.